that is actually the, the, the most important question, I think. And, and it's, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, we need better representation on the city council than, we, than we've had for the, the last several years. North Sacramento and District 2 have not gotten the attention or resources that they need and deserve for far too long. We have a, a yawning need for economic development and investment. We need, we need investment in our, in our young people. We, we need to address the, the social issues that manifest themselves uh, across the district, uh, starting with, with homelessness, but not limited to that, uh, greater public safety. Uh, so there, there are a variety of issues that uh, are just calling out for, for attention. But we have not had in, in our part of the city the kind of representation uh, at, that, at the city council that's been effective, frankly, in, in bringing those resources in. That's what I'm very dedicated to, to doing. Obviously, it's a, it's a complex compound uh, issue, uh, Jeannie, but, but s simply put, what I, what I would do uh, is I would move more of the resources that we expend on homelessness to what I call the front end of the equation, meaning helping people who are at risk of losing their housing. They're currently housed, but they're in danger of not being able to, to pay their rent and may end up on the street. If we can help stabilize those people and prevent them from ending up uh, on the street, that's a lot less expensive than helping people on the street once they're there get, get off the street. There's a recent study uh, in the last several months by UCSF that was the, the biggest survey of homeless done in the, in the state uh, in decades. And what it found is the primary driver of homelessness is inability to, to pay rent. So it, we, have to, we have to help people stay housed. That's how we start to, to reduce the inflow of those who, who are homeless. Emily Halcon, who is the lead homeless assistance uh, person, staff person for the county, told the Board of Supervisors recently that for every person we're helping out of homelessness, 3.2 people are becoming homeless. Even if it's not that, even if it's two to one, we're, we're bailing water out of a sinking boat with the approach that, that we have now. It doesn't mean that the approach we have now doesn't work. The continuum of care, housing first models do work. But as long as we've got more people becoming homeless than we're helping out of homelessness, we're going to continue to have the kind of crisis that we're seeing today. So the short term is helping people stay housed. The longer term is we've got to have more housing. We're 66,000 units short of housing we need in the Sacramento region. Until we produce more housing, we start to moderate and reduce rents as a result of more supply, then we're also not going to have a long-term solution. Well, I'd spent uh, 17 years on the, on the Board of Supervisors, four in the State Assembly. My districts included North, North Sacramento. I'm a more than 40-year resident, along with my wife, of, uh, of North Sacramento. Um, so I feel I know the community quite well. Uh, I have established relationships both in the community and, and at the elected level. That's why the mayor and five members of the city council have, have endorsed me. That's why three members of the board of supervisors have endorsed me. That's why Congress member Barra has, has endorsed me because I have proven over the years that I know how to get this job done. And I've done it at both the, the local and the, the state level. I have relationships at the local, state, and federal levels. I, I know how to work with people to get things done uh, in local and state government. I know where the money is, how to go get it, where, where we can make those kinds of investments with public funding that then can attract and leverage private funding. So uh, I think that the, the track record that, that I've established uh, clearly uh, demonstrates that, that uh, this is the kind of job that, that I'm capable of doing, and it's, and it's what I'm invested in. It's what I want to see happen. It's where I live. Uh, it's, it's the part of the city that makes um, the most difference to me. Nobody fixes everything over, overnight. It will take time. And I think you have correctly identified the starting places, which is to reestablish trust. Trust not only between the member of the council who represents the area, someone who actually lives there, who, who actually has invested there, who cares about, has demonstrated how much they care about the area, um, but trust with the city government in, in general. Um, there's a lot of suspicion, there's a, a lot of alienation from, from the city because of what's happened. I would say not just over the, the past 
four or five years or ten years, but, but for a longer period than that. And so it starts with, it starts with showing up. It starts with being present. It, it starts with meeting people where they are and then demonstrating that you understand the issues they care about and that you can work effectively to, to address those issues. As, as I have knocked on doors and talked to people in the, in the district, um, I've told people this doesn't change overnight, but we have to get a start on it. We have to turn around and go in the right direction. And I, and I have found a, a great receptivity to, to that message.